Similar in appearance to a goblin shark, Knifehead, a category 3 kaiju that took on the legendary gypsy danger and lost. Knifehead is the first of the kaiju to exhibit a higher level of intelligence. The creature had a level of cunning and tactic unseen before. This also marked a change in all kaiju coming forth from the breach. The kaiju that followed consistently displayed more and more intellect and became more adept at battling with the Jaegers. Rising from the breach on the 29th of February 2020, Knifehead made its way to Anchorage, Alaska. Towering at 315 feet and weighing 2,700 tons, Knifehead was a large and stocky kaiju. Resembling a goblin shark with its long and sharp tipped nose, this being the obvious origin of its name. This structure isn't merely an aesthetic and Knifehead can use this to cut through Jaeger armour. Rising from the depths of the ocean with a dramatic blast of air from its blowhole, Knifehead was similar in appearance to Trespasser with its four arms, the main of which are two that are fused. A heavily armoured kaiju, Knifehead had very little weak spots, save for the nape of the neck and its throat. With a grey tone to its skin and a bright yellow pattern that runs across its body, and a mouth and eyes that glow a bright blue, Knifehead was a formidable looking foe and worthy challenger to gypsy danger. The largest Category 3 kaiju to be recorded, Knifehead would meet his demise at the hands of Gypsy Danger, a point-blank shot to the face from the Jaeger's plasma caster being the final blow. So, from the two kaiju of the Pacific Rim universe I've explored so far, they both share many similarities, not only in appearance, but by the fact they mark turning points in the history of the universe. Trespasser being the first of the kaiju to come forth from the breach, and Knifehead being the most intelligent, and a change in tactics for the precursors, no doubt. But what did you think of this massive beast? I loved the shots of this creature and the battle that ensued between him and Gypsy Danger. A fun trivia fact, when we see the precursors and the antiverse in the movie, you can actually spot more of the knifehead kaiju in the processing plant. And in the concept art, there are hundreds. So the precursors clearly favored this particular kaiju design at one point. But as always, let me know what you think down below in the comments section, and moving forwards for all your Pacific Rim and Kaiju content, stick with me, Mr. H. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay notified of all my future content. If you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving it a like, as it does help the channel out. I've been Mr. H, and until next time, I'll catch you in the comments section.